What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. In today's video we are going through pointless purchases within Red Dead Online. These items can be bought with money or even gold but these items just don't give any real benefit. If there are any other items that you believe should be added to this then let me know in the comment section down below and I may even do a part 2. We are starting off with something that is very debatable. First on my list is the fishing rod and the fishing lures. Now 100% if you asked me 6 maybe even 7 months ago I would have said the fishing rod and fishing lures were 100% needed but ever since the summer update with the addition of the trader collector and bounty hunter and then we also got the Christmas update which brought us the moonshiner fishing just doesn't really happen anymore it can still give you all right money but if you want to be pushing to that higher end it's better off going through the trader collector bounty hunter or even moonshiner and what makes things worse is even if you do fishing and you manage to get a decent amount of fish you can't actually take that to the trader and you can't actually donate those fish to cribs hopefully within the future we will be getting a fishmonger role or something that will involve fish and hopefully a fishing rod as well as fishing laws will become important again but as of right now buying a fishing rod and fishing laws just isn't as worth it as what it was this time last year second on my list is a lock breaker now this is something that was definitely used within the red dead redemption 2 story but it's actually rare to be used within red dead online and it's actually very weird to see it within here just like the fishing rod and fishing laws maybe in the future we can get an update that requires the lock breaker i was actually hoping the lock breaker would have been used a lot more for the collector role i thought certain collectibles maybe could have been within locked chests but unfortunately that is not the case. It's been said that there are wagons within Red Dead Online that have a locked chest on the back but since my whole time of playing this game I have yet to see one. Next up on my list is a gold pocket watch and this is 100% pointless especially the fact that you can just press down on your d-pad and you'll be able to see the time at the top of your screen so spending one gold bar on a gold pocket watch just does not make any sense. And number four I've put binoculars as well as the refined binoculars. Before the Red Dead Online Frontier Pursuits update which was the summer update which brought us the collector role binoculars weren't used that often in fact no one really used them you could buy them in the store but yet again they were a pointless buy with the collector update we were able to get refined binoculars which will allow us to see collectible locations from a distance but yet again this is pointless especially with the introduction of the collector map this was not part of rockstar's design and maybe if we didn't have the collector map the refined binoculars would be more used but because we have the collector map and we know exactly where each and every location is for every single collectible we know exactly where to go and we don't need to use refined binoculars to find locations around us and number five i've put animal bait and this includes herbivore and also predator despite popular belief animal bait doesn't actually spawn animals in instead it lures animals in that are in a close proximity and as things currently stand within this game unfortunately animals are not spawning in in free roam lobbies especially if you have a number of different players within that lobby which means when you're trying to use herbivore or even predator bait just to spawn animals in it's not actually bringing any animals close because no other animals are spawned in around you and if you're going to do this in a solo lobby yet again this is pointless because if you go into a solo lobby that is when animals do spawn in so yes it technically does have a benefit but you have so many animals around you within a solo lobby that you do not actually have to use animal bait to lure them because they are everywhere so this in my opinion makes animal bait pointless next to my list is the canned food that you can buy as well as the meat that you can buy at the butcher if you're going to be trying to use both of these for food it is incredibly pointless because even though we've already Already mentioned that the animal spawns is not that good you can still find a few animals here and there and that will supply you with meat that you can then later take to your camp cook and then also eat you can also collect herbs and add flavor into that meat which will give you different benefits and refill your cores you'll find that some canned foods are beneficial to you because they are used for moonshine flavoring but on the whole most of them are absolutely pointless next up on my list is a group of different items if you head to the fence and you're looking to buy the machete lance knife throw a knife hatchet cleaver jawbone knife hammer or even the hunter hatchet do not bother because yet again all of these are pointless all of these items are added to the list out of all of these items the one that's probably going to be used the most is the throwing knife but that is still pointless the reason i haven't added a tomahawk to this list is because i have seen people use them within showdown series but i have never been killed nor have i seen anyone else being killed by a machete a lance knife a throwing knife a hatchet a cleaver a jawbone knife a hammer or a hunter hatchet even when watching other people streams as well as youtube videos i haven't even seen anyone use these weapons on npcs so to me that tells me that there is no thrill to use these weapons to kill other players to show that you are better than them and you can run up them using a machete and it shows that it's not fun to go through resupply missions bounty hunters or even moonshine bootlegger missions or any type of mission for that matter using one of these weapons to kill npcs but anyway guys that is my short list of pointless purchases within red dead online if you have any other suggestions of items that could be added to this list let me 
me know in the comment section down below. And as said at the beginning of the video, if there are enough suggestions, I may even do a part two to this video with your guys' comments. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.